On the 29th of May, the university's forums filled with stands as the Green Unit began their 2015 project showcase, a culmination of two years' worth of work with Exeter students. I've got a particular interest in the work that the Students' Green Unit have been doing because we're really eager to get students to think about how sustainability works in their disciplines. The Green Unit are a professional unit working inside the university that focus on empowering students to lead sustainability through behavioural change. Um, what I'm hoping to do next year, working with Nori, who's the director of your unit, is think about how we can take that into the disciplines and get staff in the disciplines to embed more sustainability and education for sustainable development into the curriculum. We offer training, funding and mentors for student-led projects, such as the showcased projects we looked around today, all with the aim of engaging students to consider sustainability issues inside the university and on a community-wide scale. We took the chance to look around the showcase and spend some time speaking to the student leaders. We've been encouraging people to eat less foods which are particularly carbon intensive and the big three that we've been focusing on are lamb, beef and cheese. Now those foods produce more CO2 per kilo of food than any other and are amongst the most commonly eaten so we're telling people to just move their diet in a direction which is slightly less harmful for the environment and that might include choosing chicken instead of beef as that's much less carbon intensive or ultimately moving towards a vegetarian or vegan diet. The event was made possible by the Higher Education Funding Council for England delivered through the NUS. It's been really exciting to see what's happened here over the last two years with the Students' Green Unit. When we gave the funding in summer 2013, uh, there were some really ambitious plans. So I am so pleased to be standing here two years on, um, just blown away by what's happened through student leadership on sustainability. Students have been able to really take on leadership roles within these projects to solve local and global issues, um, thinking of new ways of approaching uh, sustainability issues, new ways of engaging with their peers. Um, and what's been really interesting today is to see some of the impact uh, that the projects have had, um, you know, real uh, long-term solutions that have been found to issues here on campus. <laughs> I think students have gained numerous skills. They've learned academically. One of the students has now got themselves onto a master's at Imperial and they very strongly believe that that's because of the work they've done with their project. Project management skills, time management skills, their confidence has grown. We've seen students come on their own, perhaps a bit timid, a bit shy, and now they're starting to flourish and they've run these big projects. I think a whole wealth and a range of experiences and skills. Without a doubt, the work that these students are doing today is sure to lead to a more sustainable tomorrow. Obviously sustainability is a hugely important issue for society, um, not just in the UK, but obviously worldwide. And universities are kind of uniquely positioned, really, um, to make a huge difference um, and contribute to this agenda um, because we've got thousands of academics researching issues around sustainability and kind of global challenges, and then sharing all this information with students um, and also kind of inspiring the next generation to go ahead and, and make differences in society and pass that on to their children, etc. So a kind of ripple effect. Um, and also projects like this where you have loads and loads of students across the country engaged in, sustain in the sustainability agenda and um, hopefully going forward to make a difference. And it's kind of, universities you can see the kind of campus and everything, it's, it's kind of the perfect place for this sort of stuff to happen. And for these extra students, it really is easy being green. This has been XTV News.